Jesse and Lydia, I received uh, your FB message posted here. Um, and this is a message especially for 10-year-old Lydia, Jesse Bryant's daughter. Um, Lydia, I'm sure you're an intelligent, exposed young lady. And you know what you want. And your mother gives you pretty much the freedom to choose and do uh, what you like to make you happy. That one is not because she's afraid of you or she is um, not taking responsibility for you. But I feel that it's because she loves you and she lets you make your own decisions. Um, when I was growing up, well, when I was younger, I was basically adopted into two families. And both the families that I was adopted into really gave me quite a difficult time. The first family didn't feed me much and didn't take care of me much. And uh, I was taken away from them by my grandmother and then later given to another family. And that family loved me in their own way, but I had basically no freedom of choice. I had no freedom to wear my clothes, what I wanted, or eat as I like. Or even if I wanted to do some chanting or some prayers, I wasn't allowed to. I wasn't allowed to see friends. I wasn't allowed to go to people's houses much. Uh, there was a, quite a lot of restrictions in one way um, because my mother wasn't very well. So hence, um, at around 16, after a lot of problems and difficulties and lots of beatings, lots of scoldings and my mother not being well, she was a schizophrenic so she wasn't well. I finally left home at 15 turn going on 16 and I hitchhiked across the country from New Jersey to Los Angeles to make my own life and it was very difficult it was very hard because I, I really couldn't finish or continue school um, I couldn't really hang out with my friends or do what other teenagers did I basically had to earn my own living working three sometimes four jobs a week because some jobs I would I have to switch quite often because it's not stable and living in Los Angeles on my own at 15, turning 16 was very difficult because basically I had to pay my own bills, I had to make my own money, and I had to do my own thing. And um, sometimes I didn't think I would survive. And sometimes I had very little to eat and I was quite hungry. Never mind going to school or meeting up with friends or doing fun things in those early years. I really had to work seven days a week, you know, sometimes 16 to 14 to 16 hours a day. But I was determined not to go back to my family or my adoptive families because I really wanted to practice Dharma. So over the years, I've met so many incredible parents who sacrifice, who give, who love, who take care of their children and everything that their children want and anything that their children can think of, the parent or parents will do and give. And I wish so much that I had been blessed with parents like that. Because when I was younger, I wasn't allowed to do a lot of things that kids these days kind of just take for granted and think that that's the way it should be. I'm not criticizing any kids, but I'm just saying I didn't have a lot of freedoms that people um, had today. So what I wanted to say was that <clears throat> if we have parents that work for us, that feed us, that wash us, that gives us shelter and a home, that gives us mental creative freedom... And that they do so much for us. Imagine, and you know, really, Buddha forbid, imagine if our parents had died and we were left alone and we had nobody. You know, we can replace, you know, games, we can replace a computer, we can replace a TV, a car, we can even replace, you know, a bed. But we can never replace a mother and a father. We can never replace our parents. So therefore, our parents are the most incredible and most powerful and the most blessed things we have in our lives. So instead of thinking what I can get for my parents, I should think what I can give for my parents, what I can do for my parents, how I can help my parents. So therefore, being 10 years old, it's not easy to help or do or give for our parents. But you know what? I've been teaching young people for many years that the best way to help our parents is to wish that they have long life, that they will be very healthy, that they'll be successful in their jobs, that they will have peace of mind, that they will be happy, and that they will not be sick or have something that makes them feel bad. 
and that things go their way. And we can wish that, we can hope that, and we can really, really want that for our parents. And that's beautiful, and that's what we can give back. Now, that wishing them to have long life, health, love, peace, success in their jobs, <clears throat> to have all these things, is just a wish. But we can manifest that wish into energy, or what we can call prayer. So when we manifest those wishes into prayer and direct it toward our parents, it really blesses our parents. For example, if we take Lama Tsongkhapa, who is the Buddha of compassion, of wisdom, and protection. Yes, compassion, wisdom, and protection. If we take Lama Tsongkhapa as, this, as our special Buddha, and we focus on Lama Tsongkhapa, and we think about Lama Tsongkhapa, and we do Lama Tsongkhapa's prayer, and we do Lama Tsongkhapa's, Tsongkhapa's Mitsama Mantra, if we recite that mantra or Tsongkhapa's short mantra, Om Arabatsana Di, either one, and we think, may my parent, may my mother, may my father, may my brothers and sisters, may my uncle, or whoever we love, have long life. Lama Tsongkhapa, bless them to have long life. Bless them to have happiness. Bless them to have peace. Bless them to have things go their way. Bless them to have very healthy and strong bodies because I love them so much. I express my love towards them through this prayer. And when we recite Lama Tsongkhapa's prayer, mantra, and we don't have to do it for long, five minutes a day, ten minutes a day, and we dedicate to our parents, we are giving something back to them. And you know, <clears throat> when people give us so much, food, shelter, love, care, clothes, toys, affection, security, we must give something back. Why? Because we are good people. Good people give back, not only receive, they also give. So no matter how old we are, we should give back. So when we do prayers to Lama Tsongkhapa, um, we can offer a glass of water, we can offer a glass of tea, we can offer juice. When we offer these beautiful things to Lama Tsongkhapa, then we can say, Lama Tsongkhapa, may my mother and father have love, happiness, peace, success, growth. Very healthy. And may I never be separated from my mother and my father. And I wish them the best. So you can ask Lama Tsongkhapa to bless them. That would be wonderful to have a Lama Tsongkhapa poster or picture or image in our bedrooms. Even we sleep there, never mind. And... We do this prayer to Lama Tsongkhapa once a day, five minutes. It's called loving my parents' time. Five minutes to dedicate to loving my parents. So therefore, this is something very wonderful to do every day for you and for all the kids who love their parents. You know, it's a wonderful way. And it says here that, um, well, I will... Personally, from your mother's post here, Jessie Bryant, I can see she loves you very much and you are a fortunate little child, fortunate little girl, because your mother cares so much for you. I wish I had a mother who felt the same way about me, but I'm not sad that I don't anymore, but I've decided to help other people to appreciate their parents and what they have. So I'll be sending you a poster and I'll be sending you um, also a mala just for you to use, a rosary that's been consecrated for you to pray for your parents and for yourself every day. And P.S. If you do Lama Tsongkhapa's mantra, it really helps your memory and it helps you in school because it helps you to think faster and quicker and to understand, understand things better. When I was a kid, before tests, I would recite Lama Tsongkhapa's mantra, Om Arabas Nadi, quietly in the, in the classroom. And some things I could not remember, I would just recite the mantra once or twice, relax, Breathe deep, and then I would remember what I wanted to remember. It really happened to me many times. It could happen for everyone. Okay? Good luck to you, Lydia. Jesse, this is a special message, special message for your daughter. And I wish you the best as always. Thank you.